Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about the basics. I think sometimes we forget about what a griddle can do. The almighty hot dog. But in the South, we love our chili. So today we're gonna to do a chili hot dog recipe, like a chili sauce. I'm gonna put cheese on mine, you guys do you. You guys watch this. All right, so this is the idea. I've been craving the dang hot dog. Sometimes I think the recipes get out there. Uh, we try to bend the rules a little bit, what can be on the griddle. What about just a simple hot dog? Hot dogs on the griddle are fantastic and I don't see them enough. Maybe because people are like me, they don't like showing pictures of them or something like that on the griddle group. I love them. I think they're fantastic and we're doing them today. But I wanna do a chili sauce. So let me show you what we got. Found this little joker at the grocery store. You guys can see, just take advantage of what the grocery store offers. 80, 20 ground beef, six bucks, two pounds. That's a great deal. Got some uh, hot dog buns. We're gonna dice up a few onions. One to go in the sauce, one to go on top. Um, beef stock, consomme, whatever you like to use. Some tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce. Anyways, all this stuff right here is gonna be on the website. We'll have the chili sauce recipe on the website, theflattopking.com, along with many others. Very, very, very simple. Today we're putting it all on the Weber. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay, let's go. All right, first things first, I'm gonna show you guys a little tick slash trick. Uh, tip. What else? Tip trick. Yeah, a tick. Oh, tip and trick, yeah. All right, so when we talk about cooking on a griddle when you're using pans, I like the idea of you need to get something wide. Anytime something taller, like a Dutch oven or something like that, you lose your surface circumference of the energy, right? So the, the wider something is spread out, the more heat that can penetrate up, okay? So we've got our ground beef. You're just gonna combine all the ingredients in here, start cooking it slowly. All right, we have the beef consomme, we have the water, we have the ground beef, then we have all of our seasonings. Everything goes in the pool. Ketchup and Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce and hot sauce. And we're gonna add one small onion diced. You're just looking to break up all that ground beef inside that liquid. Those onions are gonna stew in that sauce. All right, so a block of cheese. You guys, there's a couple restaurants out there that have uh, extremely fine, fluffy, fluff, fluffy, fluffy, light, um, airy style shredded cheese. So that's, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to mimic that because it's too hot outside, but we are gonna go on the fine gray. Ooh, 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 I like it. Oh yeah. You know what that cheese reminds me of? When we were in Cincinnati. Skyline chili. A few months ago, yep. Oh yeah. That's how they put it on there too for one hot dog. All right, once your chili's done reducing, it should look something like this. Now, obviously, you can take it further. Um, I kind of like this saucy style chili. I don't like it too runny. But remember, we haven't added tomato paste yet. So right at the very end, when it's done cooking, we're going to add that. Just work that into the mix. Obviously, from here, you need to adjust the seasonings. We have not adjusted a single thing. Based on the recipe that I have produced, we both looked at each other and before we... Uh, added anything and said I think I nailed it so it is good I would try the base like this before you start getting crazy obviously you can add and take away add jalapenos whatever you like and just to be a fair warning 100% um, open and honest once we got done cutting the film I went back inside turned the stove on and just finished it on the stove it saves propane it's, inside's a lot more efficient obviously if I wasn't on the griddle I probably made it inside anyways let's be honest but I want to show you guys this recipe because I think it's fantastic so our sauce is done. Let me show you this concoction I've got here. It's just a brainstorm idea. It doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect, but we are gonna try it. 
toasting, steaming, fresh, whatever. I think we're gonna try a steam bun. So we have uh, split top hot dog buns. I've got a sheet tray, a cooling rack, a little bit of water that's come up to temp and you can see it's starting to roll steam right now. I'm just gonna put it right on top. And then with the lid, if I had a, a rectangle dome, it'd probably work a little bit better. But just like that, okay? If you think for one second, I'm gonna teach you how to cook a hot dog on a griddle, you're mistaken. Boil them, steam them, bake them. I'm not the hot dog police. I just checked my buns. And they're perfect. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Woo. 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 That's a good idea. That is a good idea. You can even hold your hot dogs in there like a dirty water style when after you're done grilling them, just put your water in there like in a water bath and keep them uh, warm like that. All right, once you're done playing with your wieners on the griddle <laughs> and they're cooked the way you like it, you take that steamed bun. Whew. Well, I'm telling you what. That was a good idea on the bun, Sonny. That thing is soft as can be. Ooh. All right. Hit it with that chili. Top of a little mustard. A little diced onion. And that's the classic right there. I'm gonna make a couple more of them. A couple with cheese, a couple without. We'll see what they look like. With the cheese one, I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Mustard on inside. That chili, that fine shredded cheese. Whew. Couple onions. That is a darn chili dog. All right guys, there you go. Simple, easy, fantastic way to enjoy your griddle. Mm, mm -mm. Can you open a can of chili? Absolutely, but sometimes it's making that chili from scratch. That cheese is kind of melted on there. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, give me a bite. I've been wanting to make something like this since we left Cincinnati. Golly. It's not their chili, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, the bun is steamed. It's mm -hmm. a soft bun to begin with. Mm. Oh, isn't that mm -hmm. dog out of your mouth? Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, that hits the spot. <laughs> Hang on. I've only got a little bit left. <laughs> There's one down. <laughs> we should have made more than four. That is super good. All it's missing is an ice cold soda bourbon oh there you have it that's a hot dog chili dog chili cheese dog that's a fantastic dog uh don't forget the recipe will be at the if you guys are interested we have a join button down below it's a membership program we thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button pound the note no, 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 no. thanks for watching <laughs> you're don't too forget excited to <laughs> you're you're ready to eat <laughs> they don't know this thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You're thinking about the chili dog. <laughs> won't know that. All this is made. Hey, press the subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Peace. <laughs> you just want to eat. You can't make it through. <laughs>